To begin, click on your main menu and select Remediation under the Act section. You'll be brought to the Remediation Projects page inside Tenable I.O. And to create a new project, click Create Remediation Project in the upper right hand corner. We'll give our project a name and optionally a description. Click Next. And by default, some filters are selected that define the scope of the project. Some of these we'll want to keep, and some of these we may want to change. The first filter that's filled in by default is we're taking a look at vulnerabilities that have not been accepted. We're also looking at all vulnerabilities that are not informational, so we'll see all critical, high, medium, and low vulnerabilities. For the purpose of this demonstration, I'm going to change this to display critical and high vulnerabilities. We'll save that. And the last filter that's filled out by default is the state of the vulnerability is not equal to fixed, which is something we would want. We don't want to see vulnerabilities that have already been taken care of in this example. I'm going to add one more filter to narrow down our findings a little bit. And notice right now with the filters applied as they are, we have 5,107 findings to remediate. I'm going to use the IPv4 address filter to define two machines that I want to take a look at to narrow the scope of this remediation project. I'll save those IP addresses and click Next. I'll select a user or a group to assign this project to and click Next. And then you can assign a schedule to the project, whether you want it to be completed within a number of days or by a certain date. For this example, we'll say we want it to be completed by the end of the month. Click Save, and your remediation project has been created. You will want to come over, click the three dots next to the project, and click Activate so that the project is in an active state. And now you've created your remediation project. If you click on the project, or if another user who is assigned the project clicks on the project, you'll be brought into a view that shows you the findings that need to be remediated in the bottom pane, as well as some information about the project on the right. When the project was created, the findings that have been remediated, findings that have been resurfaced, meaning they were fixed and then came back into the environment, and how much longer you have to complete the project. You'll also see a progress bar up top to show how far you are in completing the project, but since we haven't remediated anything, our progress bar is at 0%. And that's all there is to it. That's how you create a remediation project in Tenable I.O.